So now I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how you can use the angle fact. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. So it doesn't matter what triangle you have, all three angles in the triangle will add up to 190 degrees. So let's have a look at example 1. So we need to work out the size of angle X. So we've got the other two angles. So we've got the top one which is 124 and we've got the other angle which is 26. So if we add these two angles up, so 124 add 26, that will give me 150 degrees. So all we need to do now is subtract this answer from 180 degrees and that will be the size of angle X. So X is equal to 30 degrees. So let's move on to example 2. So example 2 is a little bit harder because we have an isosceles triangle because these two sides are the same length. So this will mean that the two angles at the bottom of this isosceles triangle are also the same. So again we know that angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we've only got one angle this time so if we take this from 180 so 180 minus 28 gives us 152 degrees. So they both can't be 152 degrees, so we need to divide this by 2 because both the angles are the same. So if they're 152 divided by 2, so try some short division. So that gives us an answer of 76 degrees. So angle Y is 76 and angle Z is also 76 degrees because they're both the same in the isosceles triangle. 